Welcome to an Algebra 1 sample question number 23. It says, a certain type of lily plant is growing in a pond in such a way that the number of plants is growing exponentially. That means that we are not going to use y equals mx plus b. The number of plants, n, in the pond at the time t is modeled by the function n of t is equal to a times b to the t power, where a and b are constants, and t is measured in months. The table shows two values of the function. So you see the table there. We have zero months is 150, one month is 450 plants. Which equation can be used to find the number of plants in the pond at the time t? As you can see from your choices a, b, c, d, all of those are exponential functions, just like the problem said it's growing exponentially. So we need to write down that parent function that they gave us. n of t is equal to a times b to the t power. And now we're going to use, from the table, the y-intercept. I know it's a y-intercept because 0 was for x, and we wanted to find our y. That's how we got 0, 150. So I am going to replace y with 150 and x with 0. But don't forget that x is really t, and that n of t is really y. So there you go. That's how I plug those values in. The reason I chose that first is because anything to the zero power is one. That means that now I'm just going to have a times one, which is the same thing as a. I just solved for a, and I need to solve for b next. So always start with your y-intercept because it's very useful because anything to the first power is one, and it will help you try to find b, which is the growth factor in this case. So now I have n of t is equal to 150 times b of t. Because remember, we just found a. Instead of writing a, we're writing 150. I can use the second point from the table to try to find out b. 1, 450. So again, we're going to replace those values. n of t is a, a secret way of saying y. So I'm going to write that as 450. And then t is your x value, if you want to think of it as your x value, so you put the number 1. Anything to the first power is the same thing. So b to the first power is just b. So that's going to simplify to 450 is equal to 150 times b. Then you could just do the opposite of multiplying by b, which is dividing on both sides. So I'm going to divide 150 on both sides. Then I'm going to have your final answer for b. So your b is going to be the number 3 after dividing 450 and 150. So your final answer, if you put your a value and your b value, is 150 times 3 to the t power. And that is how you tackle this problem. Your answer would be letter C.